So for uh, example two, I would like you to do it by yourself. Okay, a radioisotope P will decay to a nuclear cube by emitting radioactive emissions, a sample which initially contains 100% P. Okay, after three years, it becomes 3.1%. So what's the half-life? What's the half-life? I would like you to use the same methods, the common sense, okay? Use your common sense to find uh, the half-life. Okay, so this answer, 7.2 months of, or uh, more accurately, 219 days, okay? Personally, I prefer this, 219 days, because it's more accurate. Months, uh, it's very hard to tell, right? Because some months has 28 days, some months has 30 days, some months has uh, 30, uh, 31st day, okay? 31 days, eh? okay? Okay, so you see, initially 100%, after first half half life fifty percent, another half life twenty five percent, another half life twelve point five percent, another half life six point two five percent, another half life, uh, three point about three point one percent. Okay, so it take five half life to decay from hundred percent to three point one percent. Okay, um, so the answer is uh seven point two months. Eh? 7.2 months or 219 days and uh, personally I prefer this okay because uh, this is not accurate because some months have 28 days some months has 30 days and some months has 31 days eh? so it's not accurate so 219 days is more accurate and uh, from here we can see that okay it take a uh, five half life right from 100% to 3.1% eh? okay uh, first half life second half life third half life fourth and fifth half life so five half life equals to 36 months or three times or you can write uh, three times three six five days okay three six five days and therefore uh, each half life is 7.2 months or uh, 219 days okay another one Okay, so the answer is uh, 2 gram, okay, because uh, 1 hour or 60 minutes is equivalent to 5 half-life. And uh, after 5 half-life, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 5 half-life, the mass becomes 2 gram. So this answer, I would like you to do this. Okay, so this answer, answer is 30, okay, 30. Now, um, you need to know that from one, 
from one six zero to three two zeros. Okay, there's two half life because some students they straight away take one two one divided by two and get sixty, and then they they thought that this is the answer. Okay, but so there's a trick here. Okay, you see this one plus eighty plus eighty, then suddenly it plus one hundred sixty. Okay, plus one hundred sixty means there's two half life here. Okay, so two half life. Uh, the activity should reduce by uh, two times. Okay, uh, reduce by uh, three over four. Okay. Reduced by 2 over 4 means the remain is 1 over 4. Eh? Example 5. Actually, this one is very simple, right? 6 days. Eh? From here, we can see that initially the activity is 1200 and it takes 6 days eh, to reduce to become 600. So 6 days is the half life. Another 6 days reduced to 300 and another 6 days reduced to uh, 150. Okay, so what's the half life of the radioactive substance? The answer is. Uh, no calculations, okay? Straight away tell that this is uh, six days. This one, the last one, example six. Huh? Okay, now this one, uh, you must be careful on this. Uh, when the radioactive substance is removed, the GM tube still record a background radiation 20 counts per second. Okay, 20 counts per second. So it means that, okay? It means that initially, if the record is 200, the record is 200 out of these 200 there are 20 okay out of these 200 okay we have 180 and 20 yeah? okay so this 20 is the background radiations okay and this is from the sample this is from the sample this is the background radiation. Now the background radiations will not change according to time. Okay, it will not reduce by two. It, it, it will not divide by two. Okay, or it, or it will not reduce by two times. So the background radiation will remain the same at any times. Okay, any times. Huh? So only the activity of the sample will reduce. Huh? Activity of the sample will reduce. The backgrounds will not reduce. Huh? So even though your your record is two hundred. Uh, you should realize that 20 is come from the background and 180 is from the sample okay so the one that reduce is the sample okay after one half life it uh, this become 90 okay the background is still 20 okay so the record of the gm tube is 110 the record of the gm tube eh, will remain at 11 zero okay it's not uh 100 eh? because some students think oh initially 200 okay after one half life it become 100 no okay you must minus the background because the backgrounds will remain unchanged eh? okay so only the activities of the sample will decay eh? or will reduce okay so this is the clue okay so uh, after one half life it become 90 right okay another half life it become 45 okay and plus the background we still have 65 okay not yet the answer because the answer says that it reduced to 42 okay so um another half life it reduced to about uh 22 okay 22 okay plus the background 20 uh okay now we have 42 okay we have 42 okay it means it take uh three half life three half life to reduce from 200 to 42 okay and the three three half life is equal to 24 minutes right so uh the three half life is equal to 24 minutes so therefore one half life is equal to eight minutes